Good morning, guys. Good morning. I was starting my makeup and I did my eyes and then I kind of was in the mood for a drink. A little morning drink. Cheers. Too hot. Too hot. No, it's okay. It's okay. I have a high heat tolerance. I'm still loving this makeup bag. It's a vitamin packet. Gotta take that vitamin C. I have a kind of weird week planned, you know, because this week is going to be a milestone week. Um, and it's going to take some time for me to admit something online and I've been postponing it and postponing it and postponing it. So we'll get to that because I need to collect my thoughts and not cry. Well, not cry from sadness or happiness, just milestone-ness. Does that make any sense? Probably not. But today I have such an exciting evening planned. I have been waiting for this dinner for so long. So Hannah, Isabella and I, you probably know, we have a little group called BFP. Not gonna go into too much detail on that unless you've been around for a long time and you know what BFP is. That's our little group. We were gonna do a little Christmas dinner, a caviar Christmas dinner at a restaurant in London called Caviar Casper, which I think only opened like a year ago or something. By the way, I was just using my Shiseido eye cream and now I'm using my Clé de Pousseau. I'm not like a huge caviar gal, but I do like caviar, especially if it's like in a sexy sort of thing. We were gonna go to Caviar Casper and it ended up being like the night after Duke died and I just couldn't pull myself together for it. So we postponed it and we made it a Galentine's dinner. Um, the word Galentine's does give me the cringes, I'm not gonna lie. Let's call spade a spade. It is a Galentine's dinner. Sarah Chapman Digital Shield, which I really like as well. I need to self tan today. I need to do a lot of things. I know what dress I want to wear. I need to iron it. You know what a product that stands the test of time is? That truly stands the test of time for me? The By Terry Brightening CC Serum. I love it so much. I always use it no matter what foundation I use it with. I'm going to put you down here to get a good view of my tushy as I do my makeup. Makeup is done. Love how it looks today, actually. Oh, I should do some setting spray. CT, I don't know what is in this stuff. It's glue. I told my friend Amy to get it, and she sent me a picture literally yesterday being like, look at my face at the end of the day. It's not shiny. All my makeup is still there. I was like, this stuff is literal, literal glue. For the I don't know what they put in here, because it doesn't even feel like heavy or anything. Can you see the greys coming through a tiny bit? Oh yeah, you can see them, oh my gosh. Oh, you can see my makeup much better now. I'm not the biggest fan of these greys, not gonna lie. I know, I know some people are like, why don't you just embrace them? You know what it is? More than the greys, it's the roots that bug me. Anyway, L'Oreal Magic Retouch, so good, this stuff. But you do have to like hide your root, if you know what I mean. Oh, see, I didn't do a very good job of hiding it just there. And it goes like onto your hairline. But it does do an amazing job of covering your greys. And also, I love using it when I have like a ponytail and I have like gaps like here. It sprays that and then it looks really good. Like it makes your ponytail look really snatched. What color do I use? I use dark brown, which is, I think that's a good color for me. You may have noticed I'm not wearing any rings or bracelets. I took everything off to play tennis. These, I need to actually order new ones because they're looking a bit grubby. They are the Lisa Goslan bracelets. They look much more expensive than they are. And I've had them for about eight months now. I think I need to like polish them or something or... And then I have my little Amel bangle, which is one of my favorite pieces, I think, that Raimi's ever done. I really just, oh, this is, as soon as this bangle came out, I think I've worn it pretty much every week since. This was a gorgeous little gift from Monica Vinader. Can you see it's engraved and says Duke on it? I love that. They gave that to me right after Duke died and I love having his name like on me. And then this is the Carol bangle from the Three Generations collection from Raimi, so it has two knots on either side, and it's just so easy to pop on. And then got all the rings on. You gotta take it or leave it like, whoa, don't want you in my bloodline. <laughs> I'm trying to have a good time. Uh, oh. oh, hello. Good morning. That's fucking cold outside, I must admit. Is it really cold? My nose has gone like cold. I love that jumper so much. It's, you know what's really nice about really it good jumper. the shape? Me and you are so similar. <laughs> You've worn that jumper for months. <laughs> like, oh my god, I've worn it. I have actually, by the way, smell it, it's washed. It's oh, freshly it washed. So nice. It smells so nice. Me and Bia. So there has been a day. There's been one day. <laughs> when I, you will know this because if you watch my vlogs, you'll see every week I'm in the same in jumper. But if I find something I like, 
I wear it like 90 times in a row. Like, just like, okay. like my House of CB dress right now. I think I've yeah. worn that once a week. I think I've worn that every time I've gone out for the past month. I think the other one's worse that I had the p um, polo. Which Not polo? polo. And it's navy and it's long. The big jumper. Oh, right, yeah. That's my other one. Uh, yeah. Have I worn any other jumper this year? No. Winter? Did no. So. What about that Ritz cashmere one? I've literally worn it. Every, yeah, it every just day. Has to be like parent, Why do we wear like the same change. things every day? I don't know. It's like creature of habit vibes. I bought it. Like I need my usage. Wait, feel how soft my skin is. You know Monica and that girl and friends. Whatever her name, Amanda, darling. Yeah. What did you use? Oh my gosh. Wait. That's off. You know she's like, look at how high I can kick my leg. <laughs> it's so soft. <laughs> Wait, what is this? What What have you done? This Waleda body cream. Skin food. It's skin food, but the body cream, the body cream. mixed well. with mirror yeah, water I smooth. Know. I now snail yeah, myself into bed. You've ex have you exfoliated? I, okay, so I exfoliated, I then I do later, then I do mirror water smooth, and I I'm not joking. This is smoother than Philippa's baby's bum. That's smoother than a baby's bum. I must admit. This wow. I've now yeah. See, wow. so this is how I'm gonna. <laughs> oh my god. Get those. <laughs> gonna be like, hey, touch my arm. <laughs> you know if my legs are as oh, smooth. It was on a podcast. Oh, they and are. Someone feel was like, oh my god. I know. But someone said on a podcast they were saying how attractive someone's arm was because I was like, why on earth would someone say that? And they were like, because it's so soft. And I was really? like, damn, I should really. Mine's nowhere near as soft. This reminds me of fifteen-year-old me. Really? Oh my god. How good is that? That's like fifteen years ago. Wow. I think I've kind of nailed it. That's Clean actually girls. a really nice scrub. I'm literally yeah. scrubbing myself. This right is now. my favourite body scrub since so long. Like honestly, it's so good. Okay, step one: scrub of your life soap and glory. Step two: we laid a skin food I'm body butter. Doing it, you know. So good. This is amazing. It smells so good. Tamara introduced me to it. However, this is if you're going to bed. If you're going out, you want Sol de Janeiro. Pia also loves Sol de Janeiro. Do you? Oh, it smells so good. Because this has a little bit of shimmer. So you kind of want a little bit of something. That's great, that stuff. Yeah. I've just yeah. done a patch. Yeah, right do a little test patch. <laughs> and then you go mirror water smooth. This is literally the best body oil in the world. I put two of my friends onto skin food. Yeah, it's really good. And I they hands. are like, oh my God, Pierre, like you've saved my life. Yes. I've saved their life by not breaking their bank account. Yeah. Because yeah, it's, not, it's expensive. not expensive. I don't know if you can get this. I think it might be sold out. You might be able to just get the mini. It's sold out like five times. This is literally such a great body oil. Okay, here you go, my ration. Go. Oh, that's quite a lot oh, for sorry. a small patch. Mm. Oh my God, yeah, look, glow, look at like... your arm. It looks so hydrated. Could you see the difference? Let's see. I actually can see the difference. See no, look it. at the color difference there. Can you see one yeah. like red? Like oh this. my Ooh, God. you're so smooth. Oh, oh my God, I'm really so. sold out. That's really weird. Look, I do get lazy difference. about my like a moisturizing routine in the winter. One's darker. Mm. When I'm staying with Tamara, she, every time she gets out of the shower, she moisturizes, and I don't do that. So yeah, I well, we to used to that. say that. Do you remember? We were, with Emily. we were like, I got up in the morning and I just put on my clothes, and she had gone on a run, gone and had a shower, exfoliated in the shower, then moisturized, and like I put makeup on. It's intense moisturizing every time you shower. I'm not gonna lie. You do feel like you have your life together though. I will admit, I'm good on my face. Yeah, Pia has like a 15 step skincare routine. Mm. I also do, to be fair, but yours is longer. Yeah, mine's longer. Good evening, guys. Good evening. I am getting ready to go for dinner, family dinner, Persian family dinner. Well, I say Persian because we're having Persian food, which is our usual choice of restaurant when we're all together, when it's literally, right now, it's just gonna be my parents, my sister and mum, Rachel. We have a few Persians that we love. We've had the same few for the past like 10 years, literally, but this one is kind of new on the roster. It's called Beluga. I think it's somewhere in Notting Hill. We normally go to um, either Kate or Mosen. Those are two of my faves. Persian restaurants in London. Oh, the food. I'm so excited for rice. I think probably Mohsen is one of my favorites. That's where I went when Audrey was in London. Can this contact cooperate? I'm trying to do like a no eye makeup situation tonight and just do skin, which I actually think I quite like. I've done eyebrows and skin and lips and no eyes. You know what? I just thought I'll give my eyelashes a little break from mascara. I've never worn this coat. It's from Storitz, but I think it's actually 
a really great coat and I don't know why I've never worn it. It's like a very easy, flexible, gorgeous coat and normally these types of coats are quite structured and like hard to move in. I'm loving my Rose Oud from Killian. So that's gonna be my fragrance of the night. Yada bing, bada boom. Mm, oh, that smells so good. I'm loving that like more wintry vibe of fragrance. I just found out my sister's boyfriend's also coming to dinner and I bought him all these airheads. I went to this like candy store in Miami and he's obsessed with airheads and these are airhead bites and soft filled bites, neither of which I've seen before and I know he loves airheads so I thought I'd bring them for him. Here we are, I think this is it. Mother? Oh, that's my queen. Oh, lovely jacket. You're cute, isn't it? Yes, I like your jacket too. Hi, Mama. What is three? This week. It's three. Yeah. yeah. What is three? Yeah. Mama's speaking Farsi. Mm. <laughs> She's embarrassed now. Wow. Do you want to order for me? Yes. Okay. Wow, Dad. Look at that. Oh my God. Wow. Oh my God. That looks insane. Thank you. Wow, that looks insane. Look at that. That looks great, guys. Look at this. Yeah. How is it? Is it good? Melt in your mouth. Yeah, melt in your mouth. So the food here is amazing. I really like it here. Yay! I'm so glad you came! It's Dr. Kareem! Yay, my dog! I missed you! My mum's first question she asked, what are you eating? Guys, SOS. I made three net a porte orders in the past week. Three. Right, I've done a net a porte haul. Mm. Oh, are you ready to see? Look at my shopping. Okay, Pia, you're gonna scream. I don't know what to show you first. Oh my god, this is so exciting. Okay, firstly, I'm trying to be a gazelle's girl. Do you think I am a gazelle's girl? I've always thought that you could be a gazelle's girl, but you just didn't catch on very quickly. No. What do we think I've of been gazelles? A, well, I'm not a gazelle. I'm a... There's two different types. Here. Oh, no! Have I got yeah. the wrong type? Wait, did I get the wrong ones? No, no, no. They look good on you. Okay. The ones that I have are called special, but special. Like, it has a Z. Is it? No, yeah, you see mine's different on the side. I don't know what the difference is, but I think mine has Out a here thinner... Out cool. <laughs> mine has like a thinner gel bit on the bottom. I think. I don't know. They're downstairs, you can see them. No wonder these were so easy to get hold of and everyone says they're hard to get hold of. Maybe I got the wrong ones. No, 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 they're really cool. I like those. I like their colour. Yeah, I. you know what? I needed trainers that don't look like trainers. You know, like yeah. my Nikes are just kind of bulky. Oh wait, are these the... Oh no, these are the wrong ones too. No, I don't think they're the wrong ones. I mean, I just chose a slightly different... You know what it is? This is what it is. What is so this? So Special, <gasps> yeah. or whatever they're called, have a bigger front. I think I look really stupid yeah, with a short Yeah, they look like bowling front. shoes. Yeah. So mine are downstairs. You can see the difference. Okay. Show them okay, so maybe I'll return them. But the Spezial I really them. like the style. Do you? Yeah. Okay. They're, they're exactly the same. Longer front. We're going <gasps> somewhere snowy soon. Oh! I've never had these. I was going to say, I've always wanted. I feel like they were very you in school. <laughs> no, I was a Ugg boot girl at school. Oh my god. Oh my god, they're so cool! I can't wait to try them on. Clunk, 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 clunk. Those are I want so cute. Around you know, clunk. they do, rem they're, they're giving me the, um, you know, that thing that went viral. That huge red boot. It's like a plastic boot. I ordered okay. this ring. So I normally wear a ring on my wedding finger and everyone's telling me it's bad luck. And after my last relationship ended, I was like, you know what? I shouldn't wear a ring on that finger anymore. People are right. I need to stop. So I have stopped and now this hand feels naked. So I got a different ring. Oh no, it's too big and the other one's too small. That's oh, cute though. It's too big. so nice. Where's it from? Stone and Strand. This is size six. 
and this is size seven size six is too small size seven is too big okay let me show you this ring so this is Ramy eliza and this is also Ramy. i'll link both of them down below and this is what i just got on a Forty from stone and strand which is beautiful but just slightly too big let's try size six again maybe i am a size six it just feels a bit tight the ring that you use all the time they always loosen do they Oh, mine do. Yeah, that's it on my index finger, which I really like. I got two other things. <gasps> oh my God, I got a scream. <laughs> I went on the net -a porte sale. They had new into the sale. Oh my God. Oh my <gasps> God. Is that Magda? No. It it's looks like David it. Coma. That's so cool. There is a Magda one that I wanted, but this one's cooler because it's got a little Yeah, the little gap. Can't wait that to that try on. that on. Hannah wore these on Saturday night, so I bought them. I just don't know if I'm a size four. That looks... It looks very tiny in the waist. Just good old silk oh, pants. Oh, it's so nice. That are black. In my defense, I bought these in blue in a far fetch haul and I returned them because I didn't like the shade of blue. So actually, I bought them first. Except I think I need I a think size like up. A sister rivalry. Yes. That with like a silk corset, black, yeah. would be epic. Yeah, that's how I was envisioning it too. Oh, and then I got this. Oh, it's see through. That's not good news. Holy shit. Which is so cool. Little Magda Sitch with little flirts. How, how, you, how you do that. Oh, yeah, it comes up your neck like a little next at you wow yeah that was also in the sale so that's my haul and i ordered this all last night and it came this morning <laughs> isn't that great that's 40 is don't so you good. just love next day delivery i'm gonna try that on but i wonder yeah. if it's gonna fit me we shall see i'm most excited for the denim dress i'm most excited for the trousers are you yeah what about the gazelles that are the right gazelles no, i think they could look good you can see what i mean about that if you search for the special you can see the difference. I'm gonna try this on. I think maybe. Boot boots! So fun. What a vibe, guys. What a vibe. So I suppose I keep this ring then. Should we christen the ring? Yeah, I think it looks good. So Yeah. Unless you if, if you can't like take it off properly though, is that Do you see what I mean? Oh shit. Um, there we go. Yeah. Oh, it's better on that finger. Ooh, what about if I did that? You know how I wear my trainers with leggings and socks yeah do you wear these no leggings? yeah i didn't think so no no you had it here first i mean you've... you could you wear them with jeans really it's a jean look yeah okay however i do wear them with leggings at the moment because i'm trying to find a good pair of trainers so so if i'm just struggle. wearing them with jeans i shouldn't keep two colors i've got three colors do so. you <laughs> and i will definitely be getting more as well they're just so good do they so suit me hard to tell right now isn't it <laughs> is it giving yes oh wow look how flexible i am <laughs> you're like hunching i oh, look how flexible <laughs> he is actually like i'm not that flexible <laughs> that's not that flexible no. is it no Let's what do we think of this little denim dress? I think it's so cute. I love it. I'll put a picture of the Magda one I wanted on the screen, but I think this one is so much better. It even has little pockets. So cute. And little back pockets as well. This could have been really cute. Let me take off my headphones. It looks a bit weird with it. I'm just playing music on there. This could have been cute. It's just a bit too big for me. Shame. It's like literally about to fall off. But if this is your size and you like sales, I'll leave it down below because it could have been really special unfortunately just way too big for me it's literally about to fall off <laughs> and the pants by the way the pants did fit however they look a bit weird i think i need to order the size up to compare because i just tried to put it with this corset and it just is so tight that the corset looks like it doesn't fit me and the corset does fit me it almost like cinches my waist like in too much that it makes my top part not look like it fits does that make sense which is a bit annoying because the pants are an amazing amazing length i mean look at that with heels i wouldn't really have to alter them but they feel great and they look great but i just think something about this do you, can you see what i mean now you can see a bit better it's like bulging in weird places because this tiny little part is just a little bit too tight galantines galantines full fit we've got a little body from Eterne, which I will link down below. My favorite belt, really great leather trousers actually from Mother Denim. These are really, really good leather trousers. These shoes, which I never wear because they're so 
half a size too big for me. So let's hope I don't drink too much tonight and make a fool out of myself because they've come off like so easily. But I thought they were very Valentine's Day appropriate. What do you think? Got these gorgeous little Soru. They're like little heart earrings. My favorite little Olympula tan bag, which I think is very cute. I'm gonna quickly slap on a little blazer and then order my cab. Oh, I need to be there in 11 minutes and it takes some time to get there. Did I tell you where we're going? I don't know if I told you. We are going to Caviar Casper, Caspia. You know what is amazing? I booked it by Adorcia and I don't even need my credit card because when you book it by the app, you can just get up and leave and it charges your credit card and you can see your little live bill on the app, which is so cool. So I was just thinking, where's my wallet? And then I was like, I don't need it. Oh my god, there's a stunning purse walking towards me. A stunning BFE. Oh my god, oh my god, look at your gorgeous shoes. Look at your outfit. Oh, you are strutting. Strut, strut. Really great. Do you want to know why? Because that. one can't have sinking lobes. One cannot one have sinking can't have a Look one at us all coming at the same time. Really hideous. No, no, you one don't can't have, hideous one can't have a sagging face. The same no, way no. one cannot have sagging lobes. That's no, no, the lightweight hook. Lightweight hoops, yeah, lightweight earrings oh my are God. Right. right, let's go in, say. Okay, here we go, Caviar Casper. Let's see what we have to offer. Oh yeah, there's that famous potato thing. Baked potato with caviar, oh la la. Do the yellow tail, or we could do the pom alumet. Guys, I'm gonna try a pickle. I hate pickles, but you know, I'm feeling adventurous. Ew, pickles are disgusting. Ooh. Do you like pickles? Oh, that is disgusting. I <laughs> said that really loud in the middle of restaurant. Why do people like pickles? It's so bitter. Oh my god, that's not okay. God, I need more Botox. <laughs> Anne's trying a pickle now, too. What do you think? Maybe I'm actually really starving, but that was quite good. Yeah, they're not too bad now. I'm really surprised they didn't think you'd like them. I just quite felt like something crunchy and fresh, you know? I've got this little passion fruit drink martini thing, but look at the ice cube, it's giving Titanic. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, look at that baked potato, that looks amazing. Tastes actually better Wow, than does it look. taste better than it looks, <laughs> really? It looks so beautiful. <gasps> oh my gosh, wow. Shuna. Thank you. So shuna sashimi. Oh my gosh, that looks funny. amazing. Ooh. Yeah. If you want some more in yeah. case, no problem. Thank you. We're gonna do a taste test. Oh, I'm ready for this. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Is that the best pasta you've ever had? Is it taste good for No. Mm -mm. That is the best pasta I've ever had. Really? That is the best pasta I've ever had. Wow. It does not taste good for It's amazing. The sauce. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. What are these sweet little spoons? Are these caviar spoons. <gasps> this is fancy. Oh my gosh. This looks so good. Guys, I shouldn't be saying this at a caviar restaurant, but I don't think I've ever had caviar before. Mmm. Mmm. Oh god, thank you. That is really good. That is one buttery baked potato. Wow. This dessert looks so good. Cheers, Han. Oh, she's already on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's already on it. Is it good? Mm. Yeah, it's just very dark. Oh my god. Oh, it's pure chocolate goo. That's real. It's love with carpet. It's really good thing. Valentine's. Yeah. Yeah. They were giving Galentine's. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Just finished a little phone call with my parentals and I received this mirror water. Isn't that funny? I've literally been talking about smooth all day and I go in, I think it's like a special thing for my stay. How crazy is this? I literally have been rambling on about mirror water smooth all day and it's like our mini me body oil has just launched. So you can actually get a little mini smooth. How cute is, oh, oh my God. Oh, this is perfect. This is the travel size I needed. Look how cute it is. It's actually, no, I wouldn't even call this mini. I'd call it travel size. And it just means great for packing in said bags. Oh my God, I love it. Oh, the packaging is very sexy, isn't it? Oh, and I even now, I stay. You're so cute. Look how cute that is. Like three little... I can't cope. And I love this little bag. Look how cute is that little mirror water bag. So sweet. Okay, this is life. I'm sorry, the packaging is just so great. Um, I gave so many of my friends mirror water smooth and I've converted so many people. Anyway, Galentine's was great. I love Galentine's. We were there for 
8, 9, 10, 11. We were there in the restaurant for three hours just chatting away. I would highly recommend doing this. We all came with a set of problems. We all came with a problem that we needed airing and needed solving. And I think we managed to actually get a lot done. You know, we did manage to get a lot done. We need to have a chat. So I think seeing as it's 11.35. I am being avoidant about this chat, me and you, just so you know. But I think if I'm being honest that I'm being avoidant, then I'm not being avoidant, am I? I'm gonna do it tomorrow, okay? Oh, by the way, by the way, I went the whole night wearing my thing inside out. So that's good, isn't it? That's stunning. Yeah, I went the whole night wearing my top inside out, which I didn't actually even know that I did, and you can't really tell. So that's fine. <laughs> Time in bed. Okay, I can't avoid this anymore. We need to just get it out there. <sighs> and I've made this decision, but I am still sad about it. Let's talk about Raimi because you've had a lot, a lot of questions about Raimi recently. So I started my jewelry brand, Raimi. I literally have the box like right in front of me. I started it during COVID. We launched mid COVID and oh my gosh, the sales were amazing. And I was so, I've literally never been so proud of myself. Like, everything from the brand story to the branding to the actual jewelry pieces to the quality of the jewelry like I really that to me has been my like biggest accomplishment and I'm saying this and I'm saying it and I'm like Amelia why are you doing this why are you saying what you're about to say in my heart and soul I know that I'm making the right long-term decision for me and also for the brand. I've always wanted a jewelry brand. I am jewelry obsessed. I'm literally saying this and I'm like, why am I saying this? Why am I about to say what I think I'm saying? But I've made the decision. So Amelia, come on. Um, It's just a really, really hard decision to make. And I've always been jewelry obsessed. Jewelry, I feel like has always been one of my like pillars that people like associate me for. I've always wanted my own jewelry brand. My mom had her own um, jewelry brand. Designing jewelry just came so naturally to me. It wasn't even something that like, I don't know, it's something that came, literally it came so naturally to me. Wearing jewelry, styling my jewelry, like that is, feels like something in my DNA. I really wanted to have a brand. It was something I always wanted to do and to try because that also felt like a natural progression as an influencer to have something that was mine rather than like promoting other people's brands or other things I was wearing. And I loved having Raimi. The things I loved having about Raimi was about two or three percent of having a brand. It's the designing, the content creation, the marketing, the stories behind each piece that I made and like why I made those pieces, the social media side of it. However, as I said, that's about two, three percent of having a brand. I quickly realized that I am not a brand founder. You may know and notice that a lot of influencers that start brands, why do I do that? But a lot of influencers that start brands then stop influencing and I put that down to having a brand anyone that has a brand will know this it is all consuming it is and I, I see that because I invest in a lot of brands as well and I have friends with brands and it is your living breathing purpose you literally cannot do anything else and that made me sad because I love being a content creator that brings me so much joy like that I've been doing for 10 years that is my other baby and I didn't feel like I was doing Raimi or giving Raimi the best job and I didn't feel like my like influencing content creation side I was didn't feel like I was doing a good job of that either and I I couldn't be in two places at once huge salute to anyone that manages to be a full-time content creator and have a brand that is run by themselves i say run by themselves because i feel like a lot of the time people see influencer brands online and don't realize that they're literally like promoting the product and they have nothing to do with the operations the customer service the marketing the quality control like the design so i have been toying with what to do with Raimi for about a year now we haven't launched any new collections loads of pieces the website's still running we still have sales some pieces are still out of stock and they haven't been restocked but some pieces are still in stock and i have made the decision to close Raimi. which i i i don't want to do honestly i don't want to do because it's one of my babies and it's saying goodbye to one of my babies and I'm so sad about it because I love it so much but what I love about it is so small compared to what it actually is. I don't like doing things badly. If an opportunity came about where someone good enough could run the brand to the point that I would want the brand to be run and I could do the parts that I love, I would probably have done that. That hasn't 
panned out that way. So if that's you, <laughs> get a dot. We can revive this. But for now, that hasn't been the way that it's panned out. And I have made the decision to close Raimi. Which leads me on to my next point, which is that now is your last chance to buy Raimi basically um but i'm so sad like i'm actually so sad to actually be saying this aloud <sighs> so there is a little closing sale everything is 50 percent off you can shop it online now i think it will automatically be in your baskets when you check out and i hope you've loved the brand i know you've loved the brand i mean our repeat customers like our stat that's what else makes me sad is that our stats were amazing like we had such amazing statistics and such lo a loyal customer base and our sales were literally incredible and anytime I told anyone our sales they'd be like why are you closing this brand like what is wrong with you and maybe there is something wrong with me to be honest maybe there is I just don't feel like I can do it to the best of my ability um and I tried to be a brand founder and that is not me sadly so if you did want to shop our closing sale you can shop it now and I also wanted to like take this time to say thank you to everyone that supported Raimi because it is literally my baby and I'm so sad to be saying goodbye to it. I'm so sad. I know so many of you have supported Raimi for the past 20, 20, four years. I can't believe it's been that long. And like our collections and our branding and our stories were just so beautiful. And our Instagram was so pretty too. And um, everyone that worked on it did such a good job. I'm really sad. Okay, so yeah, if you did want to shop from the um, closing sale, then um, I will leave details down below. And I'm gonna stop rambling about it now and probably go cry. So <laughs> apart from that, I hope you guys have a great week and I will see you next. So I'm just holding this box like it's literally like, I just wanna put it down my top. I will see you next Sunday. Let's take that out. 9.30 a.m. with another vlog. This was really hard to admit, so thank you for holding space for me and allowing me to talk about it so openly um, and just be honest with you. Okay, I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna start rambling. Hope you have a great week um, and happy Valentine's Day. Happy played Valentine's Day. Mwah. Bye, guys.